Hey guys, what is up? Ioki here bringing you something really, really exciting today. Uh, out of the absolute blue, Riot in their infinite wisdom has decided to give one of the biggest buffs to Senna, possibly the biggest buff I've ever seen them give Senna. Uh, guys, today on the PVE, Senna's Q literally slows for 20%. So let me show you. Let, let me uh, let me let, let me just uh, walk you through this, guys. Boom. Look at that 20% slow on my Q. Uh, so as we all know, last season, uh, Senna's main rune was Glacial Augment. Um, and it is no longer like that because Glacial Augment was reworked into a uh, way that it only procs on hard CC. So really, Glacial is like completely dead rune on Senna. And throughout the preseason, you know, we saw, we saw me go through like a whole bunch of different runes and uh, trials and tribulations and trying out tank Senna, fleet footwork, and just, you know, trying to find a keystone that kind of recaptured that magic of Glacial Augment. Because it, you can definitely feel that like the character was designed with Glacial Augment kind of built in mind. Um, and we couldn't go Glacial Augment anymore. Well, now we've got Glacial Augment for free on our Q, which is pretty freaking crazy because it allows you to not only get a, basically a free Keystone, which means you get two Keystones compared to most champions one. Uh, you also don't have to go into the Inspiration Tree anymore, which is really kind of insane because as you can see, we've got Fleet Footwork. We've got Presence of Mind, Legend Alacrity, Coup de Grasse. We've got the Perfect Timing, Approach Velocity, and then uh, Attack Speed, Ar MR, Armor. Uh, we didn't have to go primarily into the inspiration tree, which is really, really crazy because now we get to go fleet footwork. Really, really insane. And the most insane part about it is that it scales. It starts with 20% and goes up from there, which is really, really nuts. Uh, let me tell you about the way that it scales because it's, it's also very interesting how it scales. Slows enemies by 20% plus 6% uh, for every 100 AP and 10% for every 100 bonus AD. So basically when you hit your two item power spike, if you're building AD, uh, you're also going to be getting uh, an additional 10%. It's gonna go from 20% to 30%. 30% slow for two seconds, guys. It doesn't fall off. It's just a two second slow. And, and let me tell you, that is really, really insane. Uh, baking that much utility into a champion that already has like a pretty decent amount of utility um, and damage, uh, it, it's really, really, really good. It feels so freaking good. This is my first game playing with it. Already feels really, really good to just have like that slow back in her kit. Just gonna hit her with the exhaust. We won't have exhaust for Kha'Zix now, but that's fine. They got the first game. I'm gonna go ahead and take it back. Uh, actually, I've got, I've got, I've got some people coming. I, I can bait. Oh my god. Guys, I think I might be a genius. Nice. Hey, hey. Is she moving too fast for us, guys? Do we need me to slow her? Hey, there she is. Oops. She's already dead, actually. She slowed so much that she's literally not moving anymore. Uh, Interesting gate coming out of that. PP is always a very interesting place, guys. But uh, yeah, 20% slow that scales with AP and AD. How insane is that, guys? Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys what I believe to be a really good new rune page for her. Fleet Footwork. I've been having a lot of fun even prior to the buffs with Fleet Footwork Senna. I think it's a really good page. Uh, but also, now that we've got um, a slow built into our kit, we can do Approach Velocity, which is a really, really good rune. That's what we were taking last season. We're going to go Boots of Swiftness, and then we're going to go Kraken Slayer uh, or Eclipse. Eclipse is really good, too. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments how how excited you are for these buffs. Um, the buffs come courtesy of Riot August, who is, of course, the creator of Senna. He announced them on Twitter, and he basically said that, you know, the removal of Glacial Augment and just the way that the meta is in the in the current current meta, uh, he they weren't happy with how Senna was performing. And to be honest, if you guys watch my, my tier list video, Senna is very, very middle of the road right now. Um, playing Senna support is, you know, it's it's not the best idea. But man, once this comes out, this just like opens the door to so many possibilities. Because we can go Senna support, we can do Starving Senna. Um, and, and if you don't know what Starving Senna is, it's where you uh, basically play Senna support, but just slap any tank in front of you and let them like play ADC as a tank. 
Um, and guess what? The best, the best support to, or the best uh, tank to play Starving Sinna with has always been Tom Kinch, who is also getting buffed this patch. This is just going to be an insane uh, patch for Sinna. Man, I'm just, my, my mind's going a mile a minute because it's like, I also want to try out Imperial Mandate because now you can proc Imperial Mandate with your Q. And this, uh, this new slow skills with AP. So it's like, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see some AP Sinna action. Oh, I think my ADC is, uh, uh oh. Yeah, we, we got problems, guys. My ADC is AFK. We've got some issues here, lads. Help. She is AFK. Assistance required. Yeah, I got a feeling she's not going to last very long, guys. There she... Oh, at least she doesn't die. Okay, I just hit the double slow on that. Yeah, unfortunately, we just don't have the uh, the ADC to finish that up. That would have been a great setup, though. All right, I think I just kind of chill under turret here. We're doing what I can. Oh, wait, we just killed that Kha'Zix. He W'd me. <laughs> the 1v3, baby. All right, she is gone for good. I do have ulti. Nice. We take those. Oh man, if it dude, it feels so good to have a slow back in my kit. Like, I guess we'll just take this whole wave. I'm gonna let him get the cannon. Oh, he's not gonna take the cannon. Never mind. Uh, I've got a lot of gold to spend, though. We going back. Let's go, uh, let's actually go Eclipse. I, I like Eclipse on this champion a little bit better. Just because this hit, hit him with the, it's got a two hit passive, you know what I mean? Just feels a little more natural with Senna. All right, we're going to win a 4v5, boys. My team believes, and if my team believes, that's all That's all I need. Oh my god, I just hit the triple slow. Ah, uh, rip. We had a nice stopwatch, though. And I think we kill all three of them. Yeah, we kill all three of them. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Yo, the triple slow on that Q, though. How, what do you guys think? feel about that one? How you guys like that one? All right, let's go. Uh, I probably want to chill until I get my mythic, and then we can start going, like, real ham. <laughs> she disconnected. She's not... She she was literally not connected to the game already, and she disconnected, guys. Ooh, tragic flash there, bro. Well, I have literally no turret to get mid, so I guess we just keep going bot. PBE games are always kind of like uh, fiestas. We got we got players coming in and out of the game. We got we got wild stuff happening. Man, this Kha'Zix is still down here. All right, Kane, let's go, bro. Front line for me, homie. I wipe them all. <laughs> hey, give me a yeehaw in that chat, baby.
Oh. Oh, this seems bad, actually. Man, I hate Caitlyn. Dude, Caitlyn is just the worst, isn't she? Do not see my health pings. Uh, listen, bro. Nobody asked you to play it like that. Okay, I need 200 more health for uh, for Eclipse. I guess they're just perma 3. This is a 1v3 lane? I have never seen this before. Man, if my Q wasn't so high mana cost, I could uh I could actually still kill these guys. Tapped her with the Q though. Mm. Man, I just I just can't. I, w I want to be able to kill these guys so bad. I just, I mathematically cannot until I get my, uh, go back, get some mana, buy an item. Hey, Akshon can though. I'm coming, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Akshon to the rescue, baby. My hero, my knight in shining armor. Hey, sometimes you're stuck 3v1 under a turret, guys. Oh, I may as well get some play gold, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We getting big. But, yeah, guys. Uh, for sure, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see me play uh, AP Senna. Because I actually think Imperial Mandate would be like god tier on her now. That is just brutal. Woo! Another kill with the ulti. Alright, we have 3,000 gold to spend, guys. I can't believe we're winning a, like, a 4v5 this hard, though. It's kind of crazy. Alright, we're going to go... Eclipse into we'll go we'll go collector. Why not, boys? Why not go collector? Yeah, I mean fleet footwork is just like actually such an efficient rune to take on her though. With his arc shot is 17 and 1. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is Akshan balanced? He flashed it into him. Okay. All right, that's a uh, what is that? Kazakh's flash and Akshank leads the ball up. Hey, hey, you got me! Congratulations, you got me! Congrats, congrats. Seven to thirty-seven and a four v five, guys. 
kind of unlucky that the, the player that left was my lane partner, though. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to run this back again. Oh, they finally killed Akshan. He can die. Turns out it is scientifically possible. Do you guys see why, like, why the slow is so important there? I land the ward Q, the slow into the W into the auto. Like, and I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have landed the W without the slow. Like, the slow is just so freaking important to this character. So nice. So nice. Alright, we got a, we got second item. We're gonna go collector. That sucks. I can't ult that guy either. He won't die. Oh, look. Look, this Caitlyn's name is a Zeri good time. <laughs> Future Zeri one tricks on the PBE. I've been seeing a couple of people with like names like this. Like Zeri names. I'm with you, homie. Sinna and Akshan gang. The dynamic duo. I kind of wanted red, though. Not gonna lie. Alright, I knock him up, you knock him down, baby. Or I line him up, you knock him down. We're going nuts, bro. We're going nuts. I'm pretty sure that we could 2v, uh, 2v5. Good god, I just got another ulti kill, by the way. Woo! The ward Q kill, baby! The young 2v5. Dude, why does he keep saying she's disconnected? Don't really need you. Man, that's brutal. This this man just actually hit me with that. That's disrespect right there. <laughs> they're they're kind of just prisoners in their own uh in their own fountain right now. Yo, the auto WQ and then Ox had his autos one time. We get the kill. Good God! Oh. <laughs> nice try, bro. Nice try. Bye bye. Yo, we are actually farming them in their freaking fountain. All right, let's take a look at the damage chart. I know for a fact Akshan did the most damage, but I think I might have done the second most, honestly. Honestly. Kind of crazy considering my ADC AFK'd and I had the lane 1v4, essentially. 
We'll give the auto to Auction though. He had a he had a he had a pop off. All right, let's uh let's take a look at this. There it is, second most damage in the game, boys. Uh, so yeah, I really just wanted to make this video and let you guys know that there is some there's a massive Cinna buff coming, and you guys should be really really excited about it because it's super super good. So if you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think about the building strat and the buffs down in the comments, boys. Take it easy. Peace. Uh.